Good morning, everybody. This morning I'm reading Romans 12, 19 to 20 in the ESV. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. What an amazing life we are called to. Our enemies may oppose us with vindictiveness, malice, anger, resentment or hatred. But we are to fight back with love kindness, compassion, forgiveness, and graciousness. We are to love our enemies and bless them. We say we want to follow Jesus and be like him, but how are we when we are tested? Do we resort to worldly ways and fight back tit for tat? Or does the life of Jesus spring up in us into everlasting life? When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten. I recently read that this phrase in verse 20, you will heap burning coals on his head, may refer to an ancient Egyptian custom in which a penitent person carried a bowl of burning embers on his head to show his shame and guilt. In other words, Paul is telling us that being kind to someone who is being unkind to us may lead to their repentance and salvation. Surely that is what we desire for the one who is opposing us. That is what the Lord wants. He died for his enemies so that they might be re reconciled to God. And we have all been enemies of God. If Christ had not loved us in this way, we would all be facing a very bleak eternity. In verse 21, Paul goes on to tell us, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. We can do it if we let Christ live his life in us. But if we allow ourselves to be tripped up and fall into un unforgiveness and resentment, let us not pretend that we are still following Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.